first gonna start by moisturizing my face like the usual and I'm trying something new uh, when I bought something at Sephora they actually gave me this sample I'm like okay I'll try it I'll just get it out and it's the dramatically different moisturizing lotion from Clinique and it's actually really good I've been trying I've already used it twice and it's really good so I'm just gonna use this and put it all over my face yeah. If you guys use ever use that product, let me know. Cause I want to know should I actually just buy it or should I stick with other creams? Is it worth it? I don't even know what's the price of it. So, so I'm gonna start off with my eyes because I don't want any like glitter coming on out on my foundation because it's just gonna be like a pain in the ass to remove it. Like you could remove it, but it's just a pain in the butt. So let's just make our life simple and easy and just start with the eyes so I'm going to be using my paint pot soft ochre from MAC I'm using this uh, Real Techniques Don't Shadow Brush and I'm just applying the primer on my eyes so I'm going to be setting the primer and I'm going to be using my and for the Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm gonna be using this vanilla shade. I'm just setting everything. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using this Creme Brulee um, Makeup Geek Eyeshadow with this Morphe uh, blending brush. I don't know exactly the number. I think it's MB13. I'm not sure. I'm gonna be putting it down below for you guys. I'm actually gonna be putting everything down below for you guys. So if you wanna know what I'm using and everything, it's all there. So I'm going to be taking a bit of that and I'm going to be putting it in my crease. So this is actually a transition shade. So it's going to help us blend everything nicely and seamlessly. Because if you don't put a transition shade and you put like lots of dark shades and colors onto your eyelid, it won't look as nice. It will be really like harsh. Now I'm going to be taking this Tarte brush, it comes with the like limited edition uh, brush set from this holiday's uh, collection. Uh, it's an eyeshadow brush, I don't even, there's no name, no number on it, so that's how it looks like. So I'm going to be using this brush and I'm going to be putting brown script in the outer V of my eye. And I'm gonna take a bit and put it in my inner corner actually. And I'm gonna connect these two in the center. And I'm gonna take the same brush that I used to blend my um, transition shade and I'm gonna take a bit of that shade that I just used now and make sure to blend it with the transition shade. Too harsh, so I'm going to be taking a middle shade of that, which is Frappe from uh, Makeup Geek. And I'm going to be taking a different brush, and I'm going to be taking this Sigma Blending E25 brush. And actually, if you guys want to purchase any Sigma brushes, I do have a coupon code for you guys. And I have a link that you could use, and yes, I am an affiliate with them, so I will get some commission out of that link if you guys use it. But feel free to use it if you want it. If not, there's Tons of other YouTubers that you could use their links or yeah. Now I'm gonna take this uh, uh, E40 brush from Sigma and I'm just gonna make sure to blend everything together. I have nothing on this brush. It's clean. Now what I'm gonna be doing is taking this Naked uh, Basics palette and I'm gonna be using this. Uh, Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush. I'm gonna be taking this, what's the shade? Crave shade, which is a pure black. I'm gonna be taking a bit. Don't be shy to take your time with the black eyeshadow because black can be really harsh and you really have to make sure that you're doing it right. Now I'm going to be using this cool brush, it's a crease blender brush. I'm going to be taking that black, tapping, and I'm going to put it right there in the inner corner. 
Now I just want to connect the black shadow from both sides in there in the crease. Now I'm going to be taking that brush that I used from Morphe and I'm just going to be blending all here. All the crease because you don't want to see any harsh lines between the black and all the other sh shades. So now I'm going to be taking this uh, um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and I love this thing, it's amazing when you want to put some glitter on your eyes and I'm going to take, take a bit on my finger I'm just going to place it in the center of my eyelid So now I'm going to be using some gold glitter You can also use a silver glitter It will still look nice with the same shadows that, you, that I use but I just like more gold on me that's why I'm going to be using gold and I'm using this NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in the shade Oro I'm sorry if it's not So I'm going to be using a flat brush like that to apply the shimmery stuff oh my god I'm so thin so I'm just gonna place it all over my eyes hmm. I feel like I need to use my finger with that and I'm actually gonna be using also this uh, white pearl from NYX again so I'm gonna be using that sh glitter and I'm gonna be putting it just right there in the center Oh, I like! What do you guys think of that? I feel like it calms down more the gold and it's like pop down. I feel like it's not intense enough. I'm gonna be taking that same black shadow. I'm gonna be taking that E40 brush from Sigma. Make sure to blend everything together. Don't forget, I have nothing on this brush. This is really focused just to blend everything. Now I'm gonna be using these wipes from Skin. And it's just makeup removal wipes. And I'm gonna be taking a small one. I'm not gonna be wasting all this just for like a tiny so on my face. So I'm just, I end up taking that much. It's still a lot, but whatever. I'm gonna put that back in. Close it. These wipes smell so good. It's unbelievable. Okay. So I'm gonna be just fixing that line right there because I feel like it's a bit weird. So yeah. Just like that. So to start off, I'm gonna be using this Tarte Christmas Concealer. I've been loving this concealer like since I went to New York. It's amazing. Like when I say amazing, it's amazing, okay? So it's really amazing. So what I do is, this is really like orangey a bit, so I take this and I put it like if it was a corrector. I, I don't know if you know, but I have like some dark spots around my lips which I cannot stand. So I'm going to be doing that here because I want my face to look flawless. I'm going to be using these shades to do that. So I actually feel like going a bit matte today, which I don't usually like. I'm going to be using this my Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade what's, Tan Honey. This one is my summery shade, so I might, it might look a bit dark on me, but I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm going to be using this brush from Tarte, and it's also part of their holiday collection. It's huge, and I love it. So I'm going to be putting a bit of foundation on my hand right there. And this foundation is hella full coverage, so you have to be careful with how much you put. So I'm just applying that in circular motion. Somehow it does not look that matte. Maybe because my moisturizer underneath that foundation is really like intense. Maybe it's gonna dry matte. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the foundation. I love it. Making sure to blend with that neck. So important. I'm gonna be using a different dark concealer. This one is the same, like, uh, 
Maracuja Creases Concealer, but this one is in the shade Light Medium sa Sand. And this one is more like light and more yellowish. The other one is more peach. Th that's why I use that one to correct my under eye, and then I use this one to more like conceal and highlight at the same time. You know what? I'm gonna be using the same brush. So I'm gonna be putting some. This one is really thick, so you really have to be careful. And yeah, they say it's creaseless. But trust me, it creases, so you have to be careful on how you set it. Okay, this is well concealed. Now I'm going to be setting that powder in place. And I'm using this Laura Mercier translucent powder which I love I got it when it was a VIB sale and since then I haven't been using any other powder except the, the It Cosmetics one which is also bomb.com so I'm going to be baking right now my under eye because that's the only way that it won't create on it I won't be setting the whole face because I don't like setting my face. I feel like I'm already dry enough, so like if I put powder, it's just gonna look so much drier. Now I look like a weirdo with that powder on my face. So let's set here. So I'm gonna be bronzing my face. Which I'm so excited. I love bronzing my face. I'm gonna be using the Cavanti. Sorry, I'm like so lost with my things because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like going with the flow. So I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D uh, Shade and Light Contour Kit, and I'm gonna be using my favorite brush of the moment, which is this Real Techniques Blush Brush. I know it's a blush brush, but I use it for like bronzing my face. Love it. So I'm gonna be using that shade right there, which is actually Subconscious. Putting some and I'm make sure to tap because this is. So pigmented and any, you'll just have a weird harsh line. When I start to bronze my face, I always do that face, like that duck face, just because I feel like I know where to put my bronzer when I do that. On this side. To be honest, I'm not fully in love with the lighter shades because I feel like they're a bit too light for me. But the bronzing shades, kind of in love with them. I don't know, like, if I just want a natural look, I will never use those light shades because I feel like they're so light. Like, so light. I look like a weirdo with that. <laughs> And then I'm gonna be taking that huge Real Techniques brush, removing all those brushes, all those uh, powder. Mm. I'm gonna be using a highlighter that is called a matte highlighter, which is so not a matte highlighter. It's from Laura Mercier, and it's in the, in the shade one. And I don't, I just love this. It's so nice. Like it gives you that sheen look, not so like. It's like a wet look, not so like shimmery and glittery, which I don't like that much when it's a hider. So it's just like perfect. Look at this. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can see. My lighting, my lighting is not the best. And then the second highlighter I'm going to be using is the So Hollywood from Anastasia, which is amazing also. This one is more like gold. I'm going to be putting it on top of that. Here you go. How do you like that, guys? God, I love it. So 
I want my eyes to be kind of intense, so I'm going to be putting an eyeliner in my eyes and my waterline. So, here we go, two seconds. Now, I took this Avon rounded shadow brush and I'm going to be blending that eyeliner that I put. So now what I'm going to be doing is taking the same glitters that I put on my lid and I'm going to be putting it in the center. So I'm going to be doing the same thing but just on the opposite and not as intense and as here because then it will look so weird on my eye. Okay. I have it here on this brush and I'm going to be putting it just right there in the center. And then I'm going to be taking that white pearl putting it just on top not all the way I'm going to be blending it now I'm going to be taking that tar brush that I used to put my brown script and I'm going to be doing the same thing taking the brown script and blending it with the other shades like with the black liner I'm going to be using my Iconic Lashes from um, House of Lashes. These are amazing. They're a bit of a struggle to apply them on camera, so I'm going to be applying them off camera and I'll be back in a second, okay? So my lashes are on, and why is my lighting so bad? I hate it. it like, please, my ring light is so shit. I need to buy a new one, like a big one. This one is like the one that you put on the camera. I hate that. Anyway, um, I use this Essence mascara, and I am in love with this mascara. Like, for the bottom lashes, it's so good. Like it separates them and it makes them look like freaking voluminous. I love it and it's probably like one or two dollars. I forgot how much it was. I looked for it. I'll look again and yeah, it's a lash princess. So for my lips, you have two options. I have a nude option and I have a darker lips option. I'm gonna start with the nude and it's from uh, MAC and it's Velvet Teddy. I love this one, it's just gorgeous. And if you're lighter, you could probably go with something lighter, but I can't like use myth or anything because it's so light on me. So I'm gonna be taking that steamer again because I can't see myself. So I'm gonna be putting that just on my lips. I don't need a lip liner with this because it's just like, I'm, I guess I'm just used to applying it. So that could be one option. second lip is a darker lip. I just zoomed you guys in because I need to really like see what I'm doing when it's a darker lip. So I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Heels liquid lipstick in the shade Heathers. Dini, I see you girl. And <laughs> I'm going to be just putting that on my lips. So this is the second look with the dark lips. I hope you guys like it. This is Heathers again just saying you know if you guys want to buy it because i love it i love it uh so yeah this is actually the look i hope you guys really enjoyed this look please give this video a big thumbs up because you know it will help me so so much and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because you guys don't want to miss on any videos i'm going to be posting especially since i'm going to be posting a lot more so that's it guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys and until next time i will talk to you soon Mwah. bye